Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So tonight we have a little weeknight short and we're going to open a package that came in the mail the other day and it's from Stan Zinkowski in Southern California and Stan has a YouTube channel. Um, it's called Shaden, Shaden HKW and uh, put it up on the screen for you. If you haven't checked out Stan's channel, go check it out. He does some cool stuff. Um, Stan's the guy that's doing all the uh, VFD conversions on the equipment. He built a belt sander recently um, and he just got a surface grinder. So uh, that's what the subject of tonight's short is about. So uh, we're going to take a look at this little box of goodies and uh, see what's in there and show that stuff on camera. Um, so let's pop over uh, to the tool review station and uh, we'll take a look at what's in the box and uh, we'll have a little bit of fun. Okay, so um, just to, uh, to start things off here, Stan sent me this thing the other day and uh, it was kind of a mystery tool when uh, we opened it up and I made a couple of guesses and I thought it was a solenoid and then I was kind of vacillating back and forth. Well, a couple of viewers uh, correctly identified this as a, uh, as a tool demagnetizer. So you, you plug it in and then uh, you hold the button down, I guess, and it makes a solenoidal field here that you can uh, pass a tool through there and uh, demagnetize it and uh, possibly remagnetize it too. Um, anyway, Stan sent me that. I guess he built the thing. It's pretty cool. He did a nice little job. It's got some little... Uh, um, little mounting brackets there so you find a place to stick it and you know push the button so that's the uh, the easy button right and then you put your tool in there or your screwdriver bit or whatever it is and it uh, demagnetizes it so anyway we just want to uh, share that with everybody and uh, and kind of close the loop on that deal there thank you very much Stan that's pretty cool and uh, I'm gonna give it a try as I got some pesky uh, magnetized uh, bits that I want to uh, unmagnetize. Okay, so um, we got a couple of things in this box. This was one of them right here. And um, um, I thought we'd open this one first, just kind of get this one out of the way. And uh, so this has got to be like one of the, the, the grotiest rags that I've seen around. And uh, Stan, I don't know, uh, is your truck still going to run without this thing wrapped around the, uh, the oil breather? I don't know. Um, anyway, let's, uh, let's pop this open and see what's in here. And, uh... Oh, look, some precision squares. Oh, man, he's even put my name in them. So, isn't that cool? Look at that. Look at that fine surface ground finish that he put on there. Sweet. Thanks, Stan. Those are great. Well, those will go in the, uh, in the, wow, actually, they're kind of matching even. That's pretty good. How'd you get them that close? That's what I'm wondering. Um, anyway, uh, we'll do a little inspecting on those and, uh, and, uh, see what we got there. Anyway, thanks a lot, Stan. Wow. Nice finish, too. Is that that Birchwood Casey, uh, uh, blackening, uh, compound? I'm impressed. Oh, check out the double stamped N. Excellent. Okay, anyway, uh, thanks, Stan. Appreciate that. Hey, I might send you this rag back. Uh, uh, I don't have a, a hazmat disposal here, so uh, I think I'll, I'll just mail that back to you, okay? Um, gee, this thing weighs about a half a pound. <laughs> All right. Okay, so... You guys might remember, uh, Stan's the guy that, uh, that makes these cool little, um, um, little setup squares. And um, anyway, they have, a little, uh, they have a little lip on them, and they're kind of like a, a speed square, a carpenter's speed square, but for metal workers. Um, anyway, he made me a couple of, couple of um, 45 90s here uh, that I really like. They're just kind of neat. They have this little edge that, well, I don't have anything here to hook it on. Uh, hey, let's use one of those. Um, you can hook. It's got a little edge you can hook, and then and then um, um, register the part. And it's got one on the on the hypotenuse also, so you can do that. And they're right, they're uh, they're rights and lefts, just for people that are curious. There, um, you know, and they're about an eighth of an inch thick. Uh, um, you know, three millimeters thick, maybe a little thicker on the sides here, and uh, where the step is. And he 
using making good use of his surface grinder uh, uh, making these things. Anyway, so that's not what we're looking at tonight. These are the these are the two that he sent me. Uh, oh, I don't know, a few weeks ago. Um, what showed up in this box with the uh, with the uh, with these uh, these fine uh, triangles here is these little buttes right here. Now check those out. Okay, so these are kind of the same thing here. So this is a. Uh, these are Mark 1's here, and uh, these are Mark 2's, and you'll notice the, the, the subtle differences here. Um, he's increased the web thickness, and uh, so I guess these were moving around a little bit in heat treat and uh, giving him some trouble uh, when he was grinding them. So he, he increased the web thickness a little bit, and I think that's uh, solved this problem. Um, and it gives a, a little bit more of an edge to clamp to when you're doing a setup. So anyway, now I got these uh, these 30 uh, 90s uh, or 60 90s, whichever uh, your angular uh, reference is, um, and um, they're pretty nice. The stand's getting better. So uh, one of the things he told me though is he goes, "Oh hey," he goes, "Well those are shop grade, okay? So uh, um, you know, uh, buyer beware or whatever." So. <laughs> So what I thought we'd do is have a little bit of fun with Stan here, and uh, since he's having a little bit of fun at my expense, um, I thought what we'd do is, I thought we'd pull out some, uh, some inspection gear here and actually do a, little bit of, uh, do a little bit of precision inspecting on these little triangles that he sent me. So uh, what I'll probably do is uh, change the camera around a little bit so you guys can see the whole setup. And uh, we'll stack up some gauge blocks, and uh, we'll set up our uh, uh, our sign bar here, and our uh, our tense indicator, and uh, we're going to go over these guys a little bit and uh, um, check them out and uh, see how uh, Uncle Stan did uh, uh, with the shop grade square. So uh, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so we got everything we need here. So we got our indicator on our uh, on our height gauge. Got our sign bar, got our gauge blocks, and um, so I thought we'd just go through it. Uh, I happen to know what the stack up is for for 30 degrees, um, but uh, we'll, we'll just kind of go through that. So this is a this is a five inch sign bar here. Okay, so what that means is it's five inches uh, from the center of this roll to the center of that roll. So if you take the sign of the angle that you want to inspect and in this case here it's it's this edge to this edge which is a 30 degree okay if you take the sign of that angle and multiply it by that length what you get is you get a number and that number is the height of the stack of blocks that we're going to put under here okay so we'll just go through that with the old HP 11 here Okay, so we're gonna take 30 degrees, we're gonna take the sine of that, okay, which is 0.5, and then we're gonna multiply that by five, okay? That equals two and a half. So two and a half is the height of the stack up to that we're gonna put under there, okay? So we got a two inch block here. All right, and then we need a half inch block right there. All right. All right. We'll ring those together. Make sure there's nothing on the table here. Stack those up nicely. Okay. All right. So that's our uh, that's our basic setup there. Now there's some uh, some additional uh, gobbledygook we got to do here. Well, these got to go on here like so and they kind of don't want to stay so what we're going to have to do is we have to put a little uh, uh, a little assist here to uh, a little stopper here to keep it in position okay so let me get a little clamp and uh, we'll get that in in position alright so we got some little uh, parallel clamps so we're just going to stick one on here like so and actually let me move it up a little just kind of cinch that down, and that's just going to be a, a keeper in positioner thing there. So we want to we want to line this up with an edge too, uh, like so, and we'll get a we'll get a quick pass across there and see what it looks like. 
All right, it looks, feels like it's on there pretty good. We're bearing, we're bearing properly here on, on all this. All right, let's get the Mr. Gage in there. Make sure I lock this off. I might have to move this around a little bit. You know what? I'm uh, I'm over a I'm over a hole in the table here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move the setup just slightly so uh, I get a little bit better angle on it here. So okay, so I think we're set up here and uh, reasonably happy. So let's put the first one here. So I got it just so you can see here. I got um, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to read this gauge here. It's a little tricky. Um, but I got a little fence here, and it's up against the fence so that it's parallel with that uh, the sign bar edge. We don't want it twisted on the sign bar. So we're going to sweep the top of it there um, and see uh, how it agrees there. Now this is a tense um, reading indicator, so uh, that's uh, pretty small divisions there. <laughs> so that's like, I don't know, three microns or something like that, right? Um, so I gotta almost hold my breath here. Okay, so, and we're preloading, we're only preloading the indicator, oops, I gotta back up, about two thousandths. Um, it's kinda hard to talk and do this. All right, so we're close to the zero. So you can't even touch the indicator, okay. Back up. I'm trying to get a good index here. So the indicator is very sensitive. And um, you have to be patient. I'm tapping on the on the height gauge with my finger just lightly to get things to settle. Okay, now we're going to sweep across there. Hopefully, you guys can see this. Uh oh, half thousandths. Let's do that again. Let's go back. So we want to go back and see if we come back to our our index. Always important. Oh, it looks like there's a little bump there or something. Okay. Oop. Okay, I'm driving off the edge there. Okay. So it looks like our index is good. Let's uh, let's sweep it one more time. Okay, so I'm seeing a half a thousandth across that uh, across that face there. Ah, <sighs> Stan, Stan, Stan. Uh, what am I going to do with you? All right, let's get rid of this one. Let's get it out of here. Throw that in the dumpster. All right, let's put the other one up here. Let's see how this one is. Uh, this one needs to be on this other side, like so. Make sure that's sitting against her nice. All right, and let's uh, reset. And let's check this little Mama Luke out here. All right. All right, so we got a good index there. Seems solid. Let's sweep this one here. All right, that one's looking pretty good there. What do we got? Um, that's four tenths. Let's go back to our zero here. Make sure we got our index. Yeah, okay. Pretty good. Let's sweep it again. Another half thousands. My God, what are we gonna do here? Let's check it. Back to zero. All right, one more time. Okay, so it's between four and five tenths across that uh, across that distance. <sighs> Stan, Stan, Stan. My God. All right. So you know where you're going. Okay. 
All right, let's check these guys here. Let's see what we get with these. Nah, just kidding. All right, so we're just joking around here a little bit. We didn't throw those in the dumpster, so it's just everybody unwind your conniption there. These are wonderful. So as Stan, as Stan stated, they are shop grade, right? So half thou over that distance, which is what? Three and a half inches, something like that. It's pretty good, okay? Let's, uh, let's sweep it again. Let's see if we get similar readings here. Yeah, I, I changed the camera angle a little bit so you guys can, oops, you guys can see it a little differently here. Okay, and there's our five tenths uh, on that one. So it's good, you know, I took it off and I put it back and I get the same reading. When you're reading down in this, in this region here, um, you, you're, you have to be very careful. You have to repeat your setups uh, so that you know that you're, you're truly inspecting the, uh, the thing you think you're inspecting. And um, you don't just throw this stuff together and, uh, and go for it and, uh, and get consistent readings. And, uh, and that's really what you're looking for is a repeatable, consistent reading and then you're, you have fairly high confidence that uh, um, you're getting a true measurement there, so. Okay guys, that's about it for this one here. Um, all kidding aside, uh, Stan, you're doing a wonderful job. Uh, nice job on the grinding here. Um, and um, I really love these things, thank you very much. And I've been using these, uh-oh, uh we got magnetism there? Stan, I noticed that you need a D-mag. Look at that. Okay, um, anyway, uh, so uh, I've been using these. You guys have probably seen them in the videos a couple of times and uh, I really like them. And uh, I'm gonna enjoy these also, so. Uh, um, Thank you very much for the nice gift. And um, uh, you guys go visit Stan's channel and check it out. And give him some likes and give him some clicks. Uh, he's a good guy and uh, he's extremely generous. So thank you very much. And thanks for watching.